Okay, Michelle. Guess what? I'm afraid to ask. What, Linda? <laughs> Let me tell you something, girl. Let me tell you. Tell me. Tell me. This is what I've realized. Okay, so you know, at the beginning of every year, well, it starts really at the be at the end of the year. At the end of the year, you start getting a stirring in your spirit. Many people have heard about this, about picking a word for the year. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know how many years this has been happening for me. Maybe like the last four or five years, I've been having a word or one or two words for the year. So last year, the Lord gave me a word and the word was fire. And I was like, yes, fire. I am going to be on fire. But then I'm a slow learner. Like, so I should have learned this from the previous years, but whenever you get a word, it usually gets worked out in you. So um, me coming from more of the charismatic type circle of people that I run with, you know, I'm thinking fire, we're on fire, you know, fire for God, right? And excitement. But really when you dig in and you find out about the fire of God, fire is to burn up and to purify, mm -hmm. to cleanse. And so when that fire hits, it's not so fun a lot of times. <laughs> so um, anyway, this morning, whenever you and I were talking earlier and you said, Linda, pick a song, like, so we can worship before we hop on and, and go live. And um, so I, I picked a song about fire. Um, and so anyway, um, what is your take on the word for the year? How is, how is your word for the year being lived out? It, do you have the same experience that I do? Like it's usually a, a growing process. Absolutely. Absolutely. And back to your fire before there, just that other part that we had that his, his circle of fire encompasses you or encompasses, encompasses you, however you yeah. say that. Um, I love that picture too, just his protection, but he absolutely the word of the year usually happens in the fall. It's not in January for me. It's that, you know, which I think we're going to talk about today. The, the scripture that you led us to was that be stilling when I get in that bill, be stilling space in the fall intentionally. A, a word or a theme pops up, but it's just a word. And so I'll start getting it in his word and say, does this word exist anywhere in God's word? Are there songs about it? What's the definition of this word? So I see this suitcase with a tag on it that says that word or okay. one, two, three words. And I know I'm about to go on an adventure with God, but I have no idea how that's going to unfold until I look back on the year. So the I love thing that for me, so much. The thing for me is it's usually even towards the very, very end of the year, or even like, or even like the beginning of the next year that I'm like, Oh, that's what that meant. <laughs> so it takes me like over an entire year to like grasp the whole concept of whatever the word is, but it's interesting because, um, Holy spirit will lead you to that word. Um, he will lead you. All you do is ask God, ask God, what is it? Like, what is the word? What is the focus? Like, what, what are you drawing me to? And you'll, you'll find it. I've had people ask me, you know, well, Linda, how do you find your word? And sure enough, as soon as I start praying about it and seeking the Lord, like it'll start showing up everywhere. Amen. And then I get, so I get that confirmation, like that's where that's what he's highlighting and, you know, for me to focus on. So I'll find it in scripture. Or I'll hear someone talking about it. Um, I'll be reading a random article. I'll hear a sermon. Um, you know, it'll just come all different ways. And so um, the Lord will confirm. So even whenever I talk about asking God things like ask God, I don't get an audible answer right then. Um, a lot of times, sometimes I won't even get like a, a knowing right then. Yeah. I just ask him. Yeah. And then I just wait in faith. So sometimes right in that moment, he'll give it to me as I'm seeking him, but then it'll be like, you know, down the road or in a conversation or something I'm like, ah, there's the answer. That's what he's saying. Yeah. And, and the other part, just to, um, walk with you on what you're revealing right now is that, you know, there's 
it's beyond being a believer. People choose words. So I think one of the ways that we walk as believers to finding our word is aligning with the word of God, with the Lord. And it is not just a word, but we're seeking the word with him. We know that there's going to be a revelation of him in that. So like you share with everyone and you're so passionate about, about building stronger, what is it? Building stronger, more intimate relationships with Christ. This, Mm -hmm. this pathway that he's had you on now for decades. Um, It's all about that relationship with him. So it's not just this abstract word. It's from the word that we seek. And so it's that, it's that intention of why we're even looking for the word in the first place, I think. Yeah, makes from the difference. words from the word because he is the word yeah he is the living breathing word right yes in Sorry, the beginning but... in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god just take a moment to reflect on that john 1 1 this I'm reading from the new King James version in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So I feel like today just kind of where Holy spirit is leading us in this conversation is to invite you. That's listening to seek God and ask God ask God, like, what is, what is my word? Now it can be again, what month are we in? We're in August. Um, so, you know, you can use this for your, you know, experience to find your word for the year. And, but I would just encourage you even honestly to just find a word from the Lord today that resonates with you. So he can guide your path today or this week or this month. So just kind of want to invite you in to ask God today, what is the word that you're giving me again? Um, the word also for me daily is I typically get a scripture when I'm, when I'm seeking the Lord in a secret place in the morning, he'll typically, um, give me a rhema word. He'll land me on a specific now word that he wants me to focus on. Um, for that day, or it could even be more than a day. Um, and so each day I typically get a word from the Lord, you know, a scripture from him. Which is so funny. Cause I think I know this author and it seems like that she had something in her book that said just for today, like, do you know this author in who yes. I'm speaking of? Yes. I think her name's Linda Kuhar. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Just for today. And, I, and, you know, I think in our conversation that started before this today, what the Lord highlighted is that that silent time is so important. So as Linda gives you this prompting, right, this invitation right here in this moment, we're going to hold this minute space for you, but we're not going to have any kind of instrumentals or anything today. Today is going to be about to sit in the silence with God. And ask him this question. And it's not about trying to figure out your word in this minute. It's just being in that space with him, just giving him that increment of time. And we'll hold that time for you. So you don't have to watch a clock or anything. You'll hear our voices come back online after a minute. Linda, I'm just going to put it on the phone. I'm just going to do a timer on the phone. So any other words before we go in this time? Just, um, Again, whoever's listening today, because this is recorded in August of 2023, you could be listening to this in the year 2023, or you could be listening to this in 10 years, 15 years from now. Um, I believe when two or more gathered in his name, that he is there amongst us. And, um, so as we gather right now, as you lean into just this one minute pause and just seeking him, I'm inviting you to posture your heart to know that you are stepping into the Holy of Holies. 
that he will meet you there right then. So I just invite you right now for the next 60 seconds to seek him. Oh, thank you, friends. We're going to wrap up our time together. We'll exit with our normal invitation, but just we hope and pray that you enjoy your continued conversation with the Lord. Thanks for listening today.